racism. So what if we treated racism like a mental health condition? Made it illegal for racists to make little racist babies. This shit is sick and wicked. The parents should all be thrown into the nearest prison. And of course, that won't help cure their trauma. Just like prisons don't help stop the violence. We are violent because of social programming. Uncle James was involved when he sent the single jamming. We too busy jamming, sampling John Wayne, killing natives for sport. Children pretending to be their own murderers, of course. Tough conversations take you to some rough places, but your flag is a symbol of oppression worldwide. And so is your uniform, your badge, and the rest of the lies. And that makes that, and if that makes your sphincter sphinx, it is sore, I'm sure. Well, maybe ice could cool it down. Maybe after they finish raping a Mexican woman, probably in front of little Mexican children who have all been separated from their families and imprisoned. Racism ain't no motherfucking mental health condition. Racism is a crime, pure and simple. A crime that's destroyed entire civilization. It is happening right here today just like it happened on Black Wall Street yesterday. And all we keep asking is for you not to allow your police officers to take a life that does not belong to them. We did everything. We made hip hop to get your attention. You dancing, but you ain't listening. Soldier Slim said, and I quote, shout out Mario the comic. White man kill a black man. You scream about self-defense. Break it down to manslaughter with all of the evidence. Ever since I've been here, been nothing but sin here. All you heard was the beat. It sounded cool, so you just looted our cupboards and left nothing of us, and left nothing in there for us to feed ourselves, not even the truth. Real liberation, respect, human dignity. Man, you won't even listen. Racism is a criminal enterprise intertwined with lies told by politicians who will place their knee on the backs of the oppressed from the time you know you are alive and they will keep it there until you die. So we knelt. We just knelt. We knelt because our vocal cords were sore from screaming, I can't breathe. I know you say you couldn't hear me, but fuck, I was right under your knee. I know you felt the vibrations as I screamed, gasping for air, screaming for my mother, but you just kept it there, nice and firm, hand in your pocket to make sure I was dead. I can't breathe. Yeah, Brother George, and neither can we. Racism. 